My name is Grace Stutzman. I'm an assistant professor at Rosalind Franklin University, and I specialize in Alzheimer's research. And my particular area of, of expertise is uh, studying early mechanisms of the disease. So what happens, what goes wrong within individual cells long before learning and memory um, impairments occur, long before there's actual structural deficits in the brain. What happens early at a stage which we can then correct or prevent it and therefore prevent the whole downstream pathological process. So it's really meant to be an early therapeutic approach um, and it differs from many of the current um, strategies because I want to know what's going on before the memory deficits occur. We're currently much of the research is focused on what happens when the memory deficits occur and ha what happens after that. We've isolated a specific channel, so a specific signaling cascade um, that is present in neurons that express mutations that will cause Alzheimer's disease. And now that we've identified this, there are actually compounds that currently exist that allow us to, to target or to block that channel. And what it would mean for current, either early Alzheimer's patients um, or patients at risk for Alzheimer's is there is now new therapeutic um, strategies that can be um, attempted that will actually block the disease. So I've been doing this type of research for about 10 years. Um, I've been an assistant professor at Rosalind Franklin for about six. Um, so what this has allowed me to do is advance my career actually immensely because it's allowed me to establish uh, specific channels, specific you know biological mechanisms that are going awry that normally under conventional funding um, mechanisms they wouldn't be as interested. It's not mainstream. Um, so what what your funding has allowed me to do is really demonstrate unequivocally that this particular signaling pathway has gone horribly awry early on in the disease process. Research for Alzheimer's disease. There's so much already known about what Alzheimer's looks like. We know what's going to happen to these patients. Um, it's, it's sad and distressing, but so little is known or understood about what causes the disease. Blocking the progression of the disease will not only be a merciful treatment for those who would be either at risk or in the early stages of it, but also it, it removes that entire patient population, not only from the, the stress of the family needing to take care of it, but the unfortunate you know, financial and social oblig obligations that go with it. So in terms of a strategy to approach Alzheimer's disease, basically eliminating the progression, preventing the onset of Alzheimer's, to me seems like a more um, strategic way to go about um, dealing with this you know, global and increasingly global problem of um, patients and families that have to care for them. If you can donate, if you can contribute in any way to the advancement in either the treatment um, or the research underlying Alzheimer's disease, that would be an incredible, incredibly appreciated help and contribution.